Hey guys, good evening everyone. It's May 2nd, 2023. Happy Tuesday. And uh, thank you to those people who watched my previous videos. And uh, this time around, since it was a holiday yesterday, we were not able to record any um, new insights. So uh, today is the first market day for May. So let us see how the market performed and uh, let's find out if the index is already recovering. We'll see. Anyway, if this is the first uh, time you're watching my video, I do review stocks in the Philippine market, US market, sometimes cryptocurrency. So feel free uh, to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're always updated. Okay? Umpisan natin. Uh, the index, index really um, had a nice uh, solid green today. Wala bang wick? Mukhang solid green, no? Walang wick. So, 67 million in foreign buying, 0.72% uh, gain from the previous um, performance, previous day, which was April 28th. Uh, this one, guys, is really a confirm, um, confirmation that we are uh, trending up. It's actually the second day already. First day itong last, actually, ta ito talaga yung first. Uh, because ito may re resistance ka dyan, so pwedeng ito uh, part of, uh, you know, approaching resistance level. Pero on a downtrend channel, itong April 28th, on, you know, <clears throat> manifesting breakout na yan. But because we had this, kaya I can say today is really the confirmed breakout of the downtrend. At the same time, it is triggering the upper Bollinger Band. Kasi once mag-trigger yan, chances are my continuation. Itong kagandaan pala ng April 28th, ang nice ng volume above average. So, posibleng magtutuloy-tuloy pa yan. Uh, today, medyo saktuan lang yung volume. Uh, but foreign buying is already happening. So, promising yan. Let's find out if there will be uh, for some form of continuation. But I mean, uh, short term resistance na akong nakikita. Ito, because of this. At saka ito. Pero mga kwan lang yan. Uh, short term. So if you want to do weekly para mas cleaner yung view. Aray! My resistance nga. So that's your MA20 line in. Uh, the weekly chart so let's see if uh, successfully we can break out of that no um <clears throat> kailan magtuloy tuloy lang volume to th this is a weekly chart big sabihin ito hindi pa tapos yung linggo that's why volume is still very small right there so tingnan natin kung ibe-break nga niya officially yan so uh, we'll see uh, but then again, let's find out the individual stocks and let's um, prioritize it from, you know, the more, the highly traded ones. And I'd like to prioritize MY because this was a request. Uh, let's see, on a weekly chart. Okay. So on a weekly chart, ito yung support niya. So several weeks we've been sitting in this area. Um, my I'm a bullish uh, at the moment for MY because last week starting na mag, uh, you know, increase yung volume. But then again, this week, uh, it's not that much yet. It's th just the first day of uh, the market. Uh, first market day kanina. So, at the same time, may resistance ka dyan. Uh, same sentiment sa K-index. Kailangan niya to break talaga successfully before we can say, okay, we're out of the uh, downtrend channel. So, the moment we have that, at least three-fourths of the candlestick is above the MA20 line. Um, positive na ako niya na may continuation uh, to the upside. And of course, kailangan may volume din para we can say na, oh, okay, it's supported by, you know, buying buying pressure, buying sentiment by the market. 
So at this point, ito lang muna yung range niya from 2.98 to uh, 3.24. The other week, so nung 28, nakita ko dito may parang dalawang dividend, uh, the circle. So uh, hopefully hindi, hindi kayo na confused doon because that was really intended for the uh, preferred stock owners. Ang laki sana. Buti na lang hindi ako bumili. Sabi ko, ay. So, I read the disclosure. Hindi pala sa mga regular ano yan. Not for us. But then again, look at this, guys. Ang murat na talaga niya. So, I think if you're a long-term, if you're considering MY uh, for long-term uh, investment, I, I suggest this would be a perfect time period uh, shall I say, perfect period na, you know, you consider uh, entering in trenches lang if you want. Para hindi ka naman, alam yun, in the event na mag, mag-break pa niya, pero long term, ano na to, ah, yung 2.98 niya, mag uh, solid na yan for a support kasi ilang ilang linggo na siya nag-stage yan, no? Tapos paakit na rin yung kanyang uh, momentum in uh, our RSI while we stayed flat at this price level, market na rin yung RSI niya. Kaya yeah, it's starting to manifest here, di ba? Ang kailangan na lang natin dito is mag-breakout siya. And tandaan nyo guys, my, my, kung trader ka lang, may gap down pa siya dito. And normally, we always fill that gap. This is a question of time. Kailan kaya niya babalikan? Pero definitely babalikan niya yan. So, if you are, you know, the, the patient guy which we highly recommend once you start engaging in the stock market kailangan sobrang patient ka um kung investor ka that is a, a requirement pero mga traders ka some traders do have you know uh they play intraday so siguro yung patience level nila hindi ganun ka kahaba it, it, it fits their profile anyway because uh, they normally get out of the trade uh, they want to make sure that they're out of the trade before the market closes. Um, ang iba naman, swing, swing trader, position traders, they have a certain area where they want to lock in gains. So sometimes they're willing to wait week, weeks, months. Um, yeah, sometimes months are, pero kung hindi maganda yung pasok mo, sometimes abot ng years. Pero uh, for long-term investors talaga, the more it drops, the higher you put in. Because you you see the potential of the company, you see the uh, financial health of the company. Kung wala naman problema, which a lot of the stocks are in that boat right now. Um, I know MY has a lot of projects, pero kasi yung yung revenue nila the past few months, medyo ano. Yung PTEX ang promising eh. Uh, I, I live nearby. So, alam kung gaano kadami yung P, yung tao sa PTEX everyday. And uh, there, kumbaga, um, partnership nila yan with the government eh. Ang PTEX. So, we'll see. And uh, there are a lot of projects. You can just visit their website. I, I didn't really have the time. Basta may pinanood lang ako na video. Parang si Ses Drilon yata yung nag-interview. Um... Yung CEO ng uh, MYD he was interviewed and they have a lot of projects. So I think that's that's one thing to also consider. I am not a financial advisor. I am not really very uh, expert at fundamentals. But somehow, I you know, I, I, I am able to read some articles, uh, helpful materials. But mostly my, my focus is in the uh, technical analysis. And based on what I see here, our nearest support is 2.98. We're sitting at a, 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 you know, at a resistance level right now. Pero, kailangan lang talaga niya ito i-break yung 3.33 na yan. Kasi on a weekly chart, para siyang yan doon. My resistance tayo dahil on a weekly chart, that is the um, MA20 line, resistance level. So, let us continue with BDO. BDO, para siyang doji, no? Um, nice. Nice revenue as always. Ito yung sinasabi ko, guys. Na, 
Nag-drop ito eh. Nag-drop ito ng malaki. Ay, hindi, hindi, hindi pala. Ito pala yung, ano, sabi ko last time na approaching resistance level na. Nag-drop siya dito, pero nag-recover din. April uh, 2020, tapos tuloy-tuloy na rin yung akit niya. May mga slight fluctuations, pero that could have been your opportunity to add more, uh, especially for long-term investors. Ito rin, uh, I, I think that we are approaching a possible resistance, guys. Nasa over-bought um, uh, level na rin siya. Pero, like what I said, uh, posibleng <clears throat> short-term drop lang yan. Kung magda-drop man siya, uh, I see a resistance right here, 132. So, nung nag-breakout siya dyan, chances are, uh, babalikan yan. Gagawa ng bagong support and then diretso na pataas. Uh, if indeed, tuloy-tuloy yung, you know, yung uh, sentiment ng market in the banking sector, Normally, pagbabagsak yung isang bank, yung ibang bank, gano'n din yung nangyayari. Um, just be extra careful because medyo may mga, mga big players sa city. Testing natin to. Tingnan natin, city bank, yung... Ay, hindi ito. Um, tingnan natin. Bank of America. Yan, o. So, medyo madaming pulahan ngayon um, in the US market. So, I think that is because I read it in my eToro update, eh. Kasi yung aking uh, read naman ito sa sa US market, nag-drop ang REIT. And tinag yung, um, just a second, uh, in that, ang ganda kasi sa, sa eToro, you get updated, may, para siyang uh, investagrams din, na may social feed, and then of course, may mga updates. And, hold on, just one second. News. My news section. I'm using my phone because uh, hindi ako nakaset up sa uh, <clears throat> laptop right now. Hindi ako nakalog in. Stocks. Uh, ano nga ba yun? I'll try to locate that article. Basta something to do with... Uh, the taking over of Bank of Republic Bank. Ito. Parang the government has taken over the First Republic Bank. Eh. So, parang yung banking sector inalug-alug na naman today. Grabe o. Oh. 43% down. So, I'm not sure. Normally, pag may mga ganitong nangyayari sa US market, naapektuhan si Philippine market. Eh. So, hopefully, hindi yan mangyari sa atin bukas. They're advanced. Pero, the next day, may mga ganong uh, effects. So, sana talaga, uh, uh, <clears throat> if mag-drop man to si BDO and the rest of the banks in uh, the following days or by tomorrow, yung sakto lang, hindi masyadong bagsak, hindi naman tayo directly affected. Uh, sila naman yan, pero alam mo yun, yung uh, investors on the defensive side. So, uh, right now, I see 132 as our uh, next support kung magda-drop siya. Ali had a nice 3.19% gain. So, Ali had officially broken out of the, uh, you know, MA20 line, which is the uh, resistance uh, previously. And uh, may sign ka na nung April 28. Eh. Ganda ng volume. So, tapos nag-continue pa siya. Ang kagandahan is nagtawid siya sa MA20 line and most of the action happened above it. So, uh, my take on this, tomorrow there will be uh, some form of continuation. My fluctuation, yes, that's volatility. Some are already taking profit. Those who, were, who are happy with, uh, you know, let's say they must have entered somewhere here. Or maka 
o lagay natin, mabot sila ng 10%, expect na mag, may magte-take profit yun na madami because this used to be a resistance. So, that's the next area to watch out for around that level, uh, profit-taking level yan for uh, position traders. Okay. So, right now, 26.93 is the support. Uh, BPI had a 2.23% gain. Ito, flag pattern to on the, uh, you know, accumulation on the high side. So, kapag mag-continue yan at ma-break niya itong 110, then chances are like what I did earlier, akit siya, mag-stabilize uh, at ko-continue. Uh, let us see overall on a weekly chart. Anong itsura? Ayun, tuloy-tuloy pa din siya. Okay, ang ganda ng acceleration ni BPI. So, swerte na mga nakasalud dito sa part na to. Noong 2020, 56, imagine nyo yun. Nag-double 100%, 100% gain na siya. Uh, let's talk about SM. SM on the daily. May, teka lang, may ano siya ang ganda ng annual noong 2022. 0.84%. You have a scheduled dividend noong uh, sa May 8 ang kanyang X date. So, malapit na. Uh, this is on a weekly chart. Maganda to. I always like looking at it in the long term uh, time frame. Longer time frame, mas malinis. Now, then I go back to the weekly. Ayan, ang ganda guys. See that? Tumawid na rin siya sa MA20 line. And it is triggering the upper band. So, what do we expect? It's a solid green. So, bukas, most likely, tutuloy-tuloy yan. That's another 4% potential. Um, within the day, let us see kung kaya niyang ayakyat yan within the day. Uh, normally, ang cute ng mga galaw pag mga big stocks eh. So, I will still plot our support right here because may volatility nga. Uh, pwede yan maglaro dyan before it continues to move even higher. Okay, let's take a look at Tel. Si Tel, medyo pulahan pa rin. Uh, still, uh, hindi pa rin yan naman. Nabibreak yan itong uh, used to be support right here. So, baka lalaruin pa niya yan hanggang 1,100. Or baka dito hanggang 1,131. Yeah, pwede. Posible. On a weekly chart, titingnan natin. Ayan, meron siya dyan, no? Yes, meron din dito. Kaya, ang daming uh, areas to uh, monitor. Pero, ang kagandahan talaga nito, guys, this is very, very cheap na for Tel. Okay, Tel is a very stable company. Big com one of the big players in the Telco uh, niche. So, I suggest if you find this attractive, uh, ito yung klase ng stock na hindi ka kakabahan kahit mag-drop kasi sometimes if you're a long-term investor, magugustuhin mo pa mag-drop siya. Basta tuloy-tuloy lang yung dividend, di ba? Kasi that, when, when that happens, yung dividend yield mo ay tumataas. So, if it drops, ang ganda niyan, pasukin mo. Right? Tapos every payday, pasok ka na pasok ka at volume. Then by that time, sitting pretty kana, you know, retirement stock, you know. Next, let's take a look at MBT. Si MBT na nakaraan pa yung drawing na yan. Okay. So nag decline siya, pero ang recover. Let us see if we are approaching. I we're also approaching a uh, on a weekly chart, guys, ha? Uh, a possible resistance. May resistance tayo malapit. 61.45. So, this area right here for um, position, swing traders, not the perfect time, not the perfect area. Pang ano to? Uh, Long-term investors na who might have already entered somewhere at the lower levels and are just adding more. Okay? Kasi sila yung nag add lang na nag add Um... Yeah, could be for dividend investing for the retirement stock. But right now, uh, the price has already accelerated. So, pwedeng, you can wait. Pag, you know, may mga opportunities. Ang tanong lang, kung kailan. Hindi natin alam. 
right? So, but then again, short-term wise, nasa ano siya. May mga iba marunong mag-breakout play. Um, pero ako, I'm not a, a big uh, enthusiast of a breakout play. Kasi lalo na with my profile, I cannot watch the market full-time. Kaya medyo mas gugustuhin ko pa. And dun yung, yung bottom fishing na tinatawag. Yung malapit na mag uh, reverse. AC. ACI. Hmm, medyo tagilid pa. May feeling ko makakuha ka pa nito ng mas mura. We're still uh, f- following yung downtrend channel niya. It's still being uh, respected. Dito pa lang yung galawan niya. So, posibleng babagsak to. Babalikan to. First area to watch out for. Ito kasi may nag-drop siya dyan dito. Pero, ito ang pinaka nakikita ko if, you know, very conservative ka talaga. Ito, this area over here. Pwede pa nga babaan ng konti kasi may iron pa dito eh, tsaka dito. So, around uh, 625 and 599. So, may, kung may buying power ka, you know, let it stay there for a while. Wait for it kung gusto mo talaga si AC. Otherwise, hanap ka ng bagong stock na medyo promising naman ang set up. Ito ang ganda ni JFC. So, I think I mentioned this um, in my previous episode na I, I see uh, bullish action here and ito may continuation siya. Medyo maliit lang kasi medyo nag uh, pull back ng konti. Pero guys, I I really see continuation again here, ha? About Bayan, kaso lang ang lapit. May resistance ka rin dito sa malapit. So, yun. Kari lang yan, guys. I, uh, pasukin nyo na anywhere from 219 to 225. And uh, abang-abang na kayo sa mga dividend niya. Uh, May, uh, tapos na to. So, just, uh, still, this one, once it reaches 200, very near 219, or mag-fluctuate siya dyan, ayos pa yan. Kasi, Malaki pa yung chance mo to, you know, uh, yung risk to reward ratio ba? Medyo okay pa. Okay pa na level. Kumpara mo sa video na, you know, sitting a, 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 a possible resistance. Tsaka saan pa nga ba? MBT yata. Yan yung may resistance. Kumpara mo naman sa chart ni GFC. Diba? Now let's talk about uh, DMC. Si DMC, hmm, interesting. Nasa oversold eh. I wonder kung aakit na siya. Kasi pang third day, it uh, created uh, the same pattern. Uh, each time it lands at 9.81, umaakit siya. So, yan ang ating aabangan. Tsaka guys, may ano to ha? My gap. So, in the short term, abangan mo sa MA20 line. Pero... Chances are, pag nagtawid yan, i-close niya yan dito. Pero ito muna, unahin niya muna to i-break yung MA20 line. Okay? So, I think yun lang muna. Hopefully, uh, I was able to cover the stocks that you're closely monitoring or the stocks that are in your watch list. Uh, feel free to drop a comment, guys. Let me know if you find value in this simple, straightforward technical analysis uh, from Miss JD. I... I will also proceed with my daily uh, study time because I will review my previous video, the one I created uh, last uh, last week, and uh, see if uh, you know my insights for those stocks really happened the way I envisioned it or I forecasted it. So I do the same. I will do the same again tomorrow for this video. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and uh, bye-bye for now.